his vision of paradise is probably the weakest thing that he's got uh, going for him. We're all better on hell since we've lived more of it. And uh, the Inferno is, of course, is a great masterpiece, but you don't, need, uh, you don't need, need a template, a Christian template, to have worked that one out. Hades was a pretty good one to start with, and that preceded by centuries uh, the Christian uh, mythology. What about the atomists? Now, I incline to that more than anything else, Lucretius, Democritus. That we are forever a part of the universe, like it or not. The atoms that comprise each one of us here, everyone on Earth, that comprise every galaxy, all came from the same source. You can say the Big Bang fits in with God, uh, that he did make a Big Bang, but then again, maybe he didn't. Anyway, we do know that as atoms, we returned. Now, the knowledge that you're never outside the universe I would have thought would be a great riff for uh, uh, Thomas Aquinas or somebody with a bit of imagination, but they never came to it. They had to have good, evil, Garden of Eden, and uh, it's too simplistic, and it's, uh, it's, it's just not very interesting anymore. Without the afterlife, morality couldn't survive. God is blackmailer. Uh, God is a uh, warden of the prison. We created us all in his image, probably a mistake, and uh, then allows us to run wild and punishes us or rewards us with his beaming vision of himself. This is no God I really want to have any traffic with at all. But the particular... Idea... I mean, the idea that good behavior only depends upon your fear of what will happen to you after you die, that you will be punished. Well, that excludes won't. all of philosophy. Mm. It excludes Plato, it excludes the mystery cults of Greece, it excludes the, uh, the Roman idea of what is a good man. There, there goes Marcus Aurelius, there goes Epictetus, there goes the Stoics. These are all better thinkers than anything that the Christian church has come up with in 2,000 years. I differ from Mr. Ward, who said that uh, to be a Christian, uh, because it is a consolation in believing in an afterlife, is not a good reason for being a Christian. I think the eloquent lady from the audience, who is in the business of consolation, is far better than any professional Christian, I don't know what her religion is, but far better in consoling others, and even though she may believe that what they think is going to happen next, or has happened to their loved ones, she is not being a good Christian, Mr. Ward. She's being a good human being. 